Welcome to our garden farm. Uh, Steve, yes. what do we have going on today? We are going to be putting together our new flail mower. Yeah. Okay, ready? Oh, yes. Give it to him. Woo! Ooh. There it is. That's right. Yes. We finally got the flail mower, and it was only six weeks later than they said yes. it was going to be. Yep. Uh, but fortunately, we live in Minnesota, so, uh, you yeah. know, it takes a long time for spring to come. <laughs> Yes, so we're going to see uh, what's been growing out here. We had hoped to do an early spring mow um, along our driveway is what we'd like to start uh, restoring to a more natural meadow. Okay, so that's one of the projects with the flail that's mower is to uh, establish some sort of like pretty meadow as opposed to mass of weeds uh, next to our driveway. We so specialize in mass of weeds yes. though, and buckthorn, we, and as you've chicken heard. poop. Oh yeah, plenty of pictures. Yeah, of okay. All right, so I digress. All right, so um, meadow on the side of the driveway. That's project number one. What's yeah. project number two with this beast? Uh, maintaining trails out back in uh, the woods. Right, so um, the previous owners uh, who have been gone for a year and a half now, because that's how long we've been here, the previous owners had cut some trails into the back and we were so busy last year with the garden and starting the pond project and just trying to wrap our heads around everything here that we spent zero time uh, maintaining those trails. So, um, so that's project number two with the flail mower. All right, how about project number three? Uh, project number three will be um, cutting down some of the smaller buckthorn. Right. So hoping that we can just kind of run that over with the flail mower and then continue to run it over and maintain those areas through mowing rather right. than individual removal or herbicide. So uh, I like to think of our relationship to buckthorn as sort of warlike. Yeah. And so it sounds to me like we're doing a war of attrition. We're just going to keep mowing them down. Mowing them down. And when they come back, we're just going to mow them down again. And we're just going to keep that up until uh, until one of us gives up. Um, Which will be us. Let's be, <laughs> let's be honest. It's no. Bachthorn. We got so. this beast, though. This That'll is going to be fun. We're going to learn how to do this. And... Um, and then keeping up with all that buckthorn is going to be easy peasy, I hope. That would be nice. Wouldn't it be nice? All right, enough talking for us because okay. we know you YouTubers are impatient. And so we want to get on and show you some of the features of this. Well, I was just looking at the engine that comes with this. I'm pretty sure it is the 18 horsepower uh, model, right? Uh -huh. Isn't that what we got? Yes, we got it, the heavier, yep. heavier duty one. But it's a uh, Briggs and Stratton at 570 cc. So it actually, in terms of the displacement of the engine, is 50 cc's larger than our UTV engine. So wow. this, this bad boy is going to do some uh, do some damage. Going to do some damage. Sweet. Yeah. So I'm taking a picture of this because this is like something new in our lifetime. See that QR code? You take your phone and you scan that and the manual for this whole thing pops up with like engine specs and everything. You do realize that anyone under the age of 30 is completely laughing at you at this point. You do um, realize that. Okay, I just want to say I'm not <laughs> under 30 and so it's kind of exciting to me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, so this whole unit is a Peruzzo and uh, made in Italy. So we are... Uh, <laughs> We're Italian farmers. We are supporting <laughs> our, our Italian heritage with this purchase. I think it'll just land on this tire, and uh -huh. then I think we just tilt the tilt the rack. Yeah, but, but it's got a bar here and a bar here, preventing it from rolling off. It's, you make an excellent point. <laughs> yes, it's well, it's well framed. We, 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 let's start. There's not the, a, there's not a latch somewhere? No, nope, we'll start with the bolt and we'll go from there. All right, how All right. are we doing? We're doing good. We've got it unbolted. All right, yep, so, bolts so, are gone. Bolts are gone, so it's, it's loose. But there is no way that I can think of getting this out without cutting some of the welds. It was, it was uh, packaged to ship from Italy, so... Yeah, I guess they did so. a good job. So how do, sure. how do you cut a big wire, I mean, not wire, a big steel thing? I'm going to use it? my uh, angle grinder. An That'll angle grinder. All right, so what we've decided is we're going to cut the angle iron on the top. Okay. Angle on the bottom on either side. Okay. Pull this front part out, 
and then we'll be able to just roll this straight out the front. Got hopefully. it. Okay, let's see it. Steve, I just right. love these videos that start with you laying on the ground. Yeah. Yeah. So they're popular amongst our fans. So this you can get a good shot of the uh forged yep. hammer blades. Oh, sorry. That's okay. That's what we're doing. We are working to get this roller uh -huh. to its lowest position. It doesn't go on the wheels. It comes on this uh oh, metal really? roller. Mm -hmm. It rolls on the roller? It rolls on the roller. What are the wheels for? Transport. All right, let's see. Oh, you know what? It's a seven eighths, one and seven eighths uh, hitch. So we need a different ball? Uh, we're gonna get a different one of these. Oh. I forgot that that was part of this. But what are we gonna uh, do today? Uh, nothing. So we're pulling it with the lawn tractor because the lawn tractor has the right size hitch ball. And we have to get a new um, connection for our utility trailer to be able to pull it. But look at that! Isn't that nice? So Steve, we are in the Fleet Farm parking lot. Yes, Why we are. Why is that? We are in the Fleet Farm uh, parking lot because we have to buy some supplies. What do we need? We need to get a new uh, trailer tongue uh, for the flail mower. So that our two inch ball we, uh, we want everything to have the same two inch ball i do not want to be figuring out what's two inches and what's one inch seven eighths of an inch right which i don't just, understand well, why there's even a difference between two inches and one and seven eighth inch like why bother with the eighth of an inch but that's beside i the share point. your indignation uh, the other thing that we're going to buy here is a tool to replace a broken uh zerk grease fitting is it Zerk, Z-E-R-K, or is it Z-E-R-T? It is Z-E-R-K, Zerk, Zerk Grease Fitting, which snapped off. And we are going to buy a tool that I read about on YouTube and then hopefully install a new grease uh, fitting. So, And so good. how much did we use the flail mower before we broke it? We didn't use it at all. <laughs> Not at all.